In mid-April 2022, the Federal Reserve balance sheet tapped out at $8.96 trillion after years of bond buying as part of the quantitative easing program. $4.5 trillion of that was since the onset of the pandemic alone. Now, since that time, the balance sheet has shrunk to a current level of $8.9 trillion. Of course, balance sheet reduction is a key part of the Fed's attempt to remove excess liquidity from the financial system in hopes of controlling inflation. The amount of balance sheet reduction was supposed to begin on June 1st with $47 billion per month and then ramp up to $95 billion beginning in September. So far, the Fed has fallen short of their goals. Is the Fed reluctant to aggressively reduce the balance sheet because of the precarious economic condition? The answer to that lies in the cross-current of data we've seen in recent days. First, the GDP number came out and confirmed consecutive quarters of negative growth, suggesting a recession. Then the NFP number came out way above expectations. More recently, we've seen a CPI number that suggests a significant slowdown in inflation, and then we saw a much lower than expected empire manufacturing number. Going forward, analyst eyes will be focused on the amount of reduction per month as a potential view into the Fed's broader opinion of economic activity by watching adjustments to this less visible part of the tightening cycle.